Hi, I'm Jill Rodriguez, personal trainer with Mercola.com. Today I'm going to demonstrate some plank variations. The plank can be a great alternative to doing crunches. It improves the strength of your core musculature, of the abdominals, lower back, hips and shoulders, and also improves posture and balance. Let's get started. The first plank variation is your basic plank. You're going to hold this position, it's a static position, for 30 to 60 seconds. You can either use a timer or count in your head. First, all postural rules apply. You want to pull your shoulders back, you want to brace your abdominals, and kind of squeeze your butt cheeks. The beginning plank is on the knees, and you can start with a straight arm. You want to make sure that there's a straight line from the knee to the hip and to the shoulder. And you're going to hold this position, 30 to 60 seconds. Another variation for the beginners is going to be to the elbows. And again, you're going to hold it for 30 to 60 seconds. The intermediate plank is simply on the toes. Again, all postural rules apply, shoulder blades back, abdominals braced, butt cheeks squeezing. And you come to the toes. Hold this position for 30 to 60 seconds. You may also come down to the elbows. And same thing, hold from 30 to 60 seconds. For the advanced plank, you can raise your feet up on a bench or chair. Again, the straight arm position looks like this, holding 30 to 60 seconds. Or you can come to the elbows and hold. And that's the basic plank. For the up-down plank variation, you're going to start, as a beginner, in the elbow plank. And this particular variation can be done for either time, 30 to 60 seconds, or you can count. You can do about 10 to, let's say, 20. So starting in the um, basic plank position at the knees for the beginner on the elbows, you're going to push yourself up to the straight arm plank variation, and then pull yourself back down. So that would be considered one. And you could switch sides. Push yourself up, and then push yourself down. For the intermediate plank, you're going to come to the toes. And I would take a wider stance here so that you're more stable. In the elbow plank first, push yourself up, and then lower yourself down, remembering all of your postural rules with the shoulders back, your abdominals braced, and your butt cheeks nice and tight. Now, the advanced version is definitely more difficult. Let's start on the elbows, toes on a bench or chair. Again, wide position with the feet. And push yourself up and lower yourself down. Up and then back down for the advanced version. For the planks with leg raises variation, you're going to start as a beginner on the elbows at the knees. Pulling the shoulder blades back, bracing your abdominals and squeezing the butt cheeks. And you're going to raise one of your legs. You're going to lift it up, start from the back of the knee and raise it toward the ceiling, and then alternate, lift the opposite one. You can either do this for time or do it for repetitions. The intermediate version, oh sorry, stay at the elbows, but for the intermediate version you want to come to the toes and it's the same thing. The back of the knee raises and lowers and raises and lowers. Now for the advanced version, it's just like the intermediate version, but you're going to hold the leg up. So it's more like a single leg plank. Come up into that intermediate position and then hold it. And I would work for the 30 to 60 seconds on the advanced plank. For the plank with knee crunch variation, the beginner is going to use a bench or chair and come into the straight arm plank variation. Coming up to your toes, you're going to use all of your postural rules. Squeeze the shoulder blades back and down, abdominals braced, squeezing the butt cheeks tight. And you're going to bring one elbow to the same, I'm sorry, one knee to the same elbow, and then back. Alternate, and then back. Now you can do this for time, just like the planks that you hold, or you can do it for repetitions. So I'm moving kind of slow, but I can do 10, or I can do 20 each side, and then stop. The intermediate version will be off the bench, but it looks exactly the same. Straight arms at the toes, shoulders back and down, abs braced, butt cheeks on, and same knee to same elbow. 
Nothing is moving except for my knees. That's the intermediate version. Now the advanced version, again for time or repetitions, you're gonna move a little bit faster. So knee to elbow, switch, switch, switch. You can even go faster than that. And again, for time, 30 to 60 seconds, or for repetitions, maybe 10 to 20. For the alternating arm raise plank variation, the beginner is gonna use a bench or a chair. And with straight arms, you're gonna to come to the toes. Now for the alternating arm raise, you're gonna to wanna to take a wider base stance with your feet. So take the feet kind of wide. Pull in your, um, your postural position with the shoulder blades back and down. Draw in the abdominals, squeeze the butt cheeks. And with your thumb up, you're gonna raise one arm up and back down. Raise the other one up, since this is alternating arm raise, and back down. That's the beginning version. The intermediate version looks exactly the same, but you're on the floor. Again, with straight arms, your feet are nice and wide. You're going to lift the arm, thumb up, and replace it. Arm up, and replace it. Now the advanced version is a decline. So your feet are gonna be up on a bench or a chair with the straight arms. Again, you wanna take a wide base here with your feet as well. All right, shoulder blades back and down, abdominals turned on, butt cheeks on, raise and lower, and raise and lower. As previously mentioned before, you can do this for time, 30 to 60 seconds, or you can do repetitions. I would start with 10 arm raises or 20. For the plank with alternating toe tap variation, the beginner is gonna use a bench or chair. Now with all of these plank variations, you can either do a straight arm position or a bent arm position. And for this particular one, I'm gonna use a bent arm position. So for the bent arm, you want your shoulders to be over the elbows, shoulder blades back and down. You want your abdominals turned on, butt cheeks squeezing. And what you're gonna do for this alternating toe tap is take a toe, just one at a time, out to the side. Tap it and then bring it right back. Alternating, opposite side, bring it right back. Again, for repetitions, 10 to 20, or for time, 30 to 60 seconds. The intermediate version is at the toes on the floor. Elbows on the floor, at your toes. Again, take one foot out to the side, tap, and return. Alternate, and return. Now the advanced version is gonna be a little bit more cardio. You're gonna take the feet out and in rapidly. So you come out and in and out and in, and you can vary the, um, the uh, speed. And that is the alternating toe tap plank. I hope you enjoyed those plank variations. We'll see you next time.